The new stars is an alpha 3.19.1 patch hit the PTU tonight. We're gonna go straight into it. This time around, this one comes with an important known issue. It says we have identified a couple major DGS crashes in tonight's build that may degrade performance. We're monitoring this after release to the PTU. And if these spike up to become too disruptive, we may roll back to the previous build tonight. Under feature updates in the location category, they made some performance and LOD polish pass for Lorville. Under the gameplay category, they made some updates to the track to be quality of life. It says now ignore rotation when attaching mining items, gimbo, salvage items, and rockets. They made some updates to the mineable scanning. It says made it so that it can scan results on mining HUD, account for active laser modifiers without having to shoot the mineable with the laser. Also a balance pass for salvage, bounty, and assassination mission types. Under ships and vehicles, for the furry, they made a polish and they made improvements to the rotational performance and fuel usage. So it seems like maybe they increased the fuel capacity for it. So that's always great to see. And lastly, they increased the Corsair maneuver and thrusters health points. Before we move forward, I'd like the new people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of May. This time is a game package for the 100i. In order to participate, you got to subscribe and leave a comment in any video between the month of May. Let's continue. Under bug fixes, they made a few fixes here. The first one is the MFD screens are black when seated in the pilot seat. This is regarding the Argo Mall that's been fixed. It says deposit shattered at optimal range when causing damage to player ship. And this is pertaining to mining. Vehicle hull scraping. Salvage doesn't yield any material while at zero out of zero RMC counter. So that's been fixed. Hangar above 300i will not open. This is pertaining to the boarding action in progress mission. Inventory screen mouse cursor drifts after dying in the ship, overriding input from the player. So that's been fixed. Not all modifiers listed under the device properties on each mining gadget. That's been fixed. The right side of the mining UI disappears after switching modes. That's been fixed. Vulture doesn't display RMC salvage progress information panel in the pilot seat. That's been fixed. Mining turrets in the mode does not deploy when player enter them and do not function. So that's been fixed. Cargo crates from the salvage contract ships will respawn if the ship is streamed out and back in after removing them, causing there to be duplicates. I did notice this myself, so I, that's that's a little unfortunate because we would have made more money, but uh, it's been fixed. Range UI is squished when the player enters a seat that is already in mining mode, so that's been fixed. The Mirai brand ship filter in Arena Commander ship menu is out of order with unlocalized mouse over text. That's been fixed. Traversing the verse journal entry has a double note at the bottom. That's been fixed. Various drug commodities acquired from salvage contracts cannot be sold. We did notice that, so I'm glad that they fixed that as well. In addition, there's been one client crash and four server crashes. You guys already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.